Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm happy to be where I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, I'm happy to be where I am. Open your mouth and tell him, thank you. Shout. Don't allow 
your skin color to get in the way. The, the style of town you live on. I, I, I wish I was in the White House talking here. Yeah, get out of the way and let God have his way. How about it? He knows what he's doing. He knows where you're going. He knows what you have in need of. Well, the Bible says here, it says, give me a drink. He knew that his disciples had gone away. I don't know about you, but something that happened in your life when you didn't pay attention to it like you should, somebody, uh, something was in the way, he got it out the way so that he could communicate with you. <laughs> somebody don't wait in the head and he's talking to me right now. Ah, that's why you're in this place today, so you can hear what does say the Lord. Uh, my God, the Bible said here that the disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Therefore, the Samaritan woman said to him, how is it? She asked the question, how is it? But I want you to understand this, that the relationship with the Lord was greater because they had gone to buy food. Y'all, they're going to help me here. My God, the Lord knows Shabbat. He knows how to get the stretching out of your way so he can communicate with you. Some folks that got out of your life was a blessing for you and the Lord to communicate. Ain't nobody helping me. Oh, no, no. But I feel joy coming out of my heart. I feel the presence of the Lord. Somebody that went away out of your life, it was a distraction. God got him out of the way so he can initiate the conversation that I want you to give me a drink. I want you to do something for me. I want you to answer my call. I want you to walk in a way that I have in the world. How bless his name. So the Bible says here that the disciples had gone away uh, to a city to buy food. Uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, Therefore, the Samaritan woman said to him, How is it? Uh, oh, God. Uh, she said, in other words, I don't understand this. Uh, hallelujah. I don't understand how you would ask me a Samaritan woman. Uh, my God, being a Jew, to uh, ask me for drinks as I am a Samaritan. Uh, how many of you today, there are distractions in your way? Yeah, you want to have to let it go. Huh? If you heard him, huh? it ought to be yes, Lord. Yes, shut up. Uh -huh. He would never ask you to do anything huh? that he had already provided for you to do. Huh? He would never ask you to walk huh? if he hadn't given you legs to walk. Huh? He would never ask you to open your mouth if he hadn't given you a tongue so you could speak. Huh? I thought to get some help in here. And so the Bible said that he began to talk to the woman. Said, Hi, the woman said, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask me for a drink since I am a Samaritan woman? Lord, how nice it And she had a lot of detail. Just like many people today, you're hindered uh, by what you know about your background. Uh, you're hindered because uh, of where you came from. Uh, you're hindered because uh, money had gone your way. Uh, folks ain't treating you like they should. Uh, and the Bible said, uh, the woman to be the Samaritan said, uh, for Jews have no dealing uh, with Samaritan. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Look at it today. Uh, we're living in a time. Uh, where black and white don't want to have uh, our communication. Uh, and Lord, can we help the White House? Uh, Lord, I feel your help coming down here. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, my God, the White House didn't need uh, only somebody to stop in the White House for somebody to say it was white. Come on, Holy Ghost. Uh, help me here now. Uh, and so am I in the shed. Uh, she said, for well, I am uh, a Samaritan. Uh, but what the word of God. Then the mind of said Jesus answered that and said unto him, What a wonderful conversation that Jesus said, No problem, little sister, that you do not know the gift of God when you walk around dependent on He and what she said, what He can do. You don't know the gift of God. When you get to know the gift of God, things will change at your home when you begin to rely on the gift of God. Things will change. New jobs will come. Money will expand when you know the gift of God. Ain't nobody helping me, but I praise Him. Your problem is 
is you don't know the gift of God in him who it is and who it is who saved you because if you're aware of the gift of God you understand that the presence of the Lord is in every place beholding the good and the evil and God I know the gift of God and when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he done for me my soul cries out hallelujah somebody praise him give him a praise shout hallelujah yes lord yes lord yes lord how y'all gonna go say hallelujah and the bible says that Jesus answered said to him, if you knew the gift of God and who it is who say to you, give me the drink, you would have asked him, my God, you would have turned things around. When you know the gift of God, you ain't going around asking man and woman. You turn to the Lord and say, Lord, I need you now. Turn to the Lord and say, my money is getting short. Turn to the Lord and say, I need a new job or I need a job. She didn't have the gift of God, but I'm rejoicing today that I have the gift of God. And the gift of God make me assured that he's working for me. The gift of God tell me no weapon formed against me shall prosper. The gift of God tell me that if he be lifted up from the earth, that he would draw all men under him. The gift of God tell me that no man, no woman can come against me or you when you know the gift of God. When you know the gift of God, you can rest in him and say, I will. I will give him praise. I will acknowledge him in all his ways. When you know the gift of God, you'll stand and declare that I'm the head and not the tail. When you know the gift of God, you'll stand and declare no weapon can come me. No weapon comes against me. When you know the gift of God, you can stand and say, it's all right. It's all right. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he does for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. And listen here, she said, if you knew the gift of God, I wish I had five people just wave your hand, keep your distance, wave your hand, and thank God for the gift of God. Hallelujah. That you would have asked me, give me a drink. You would have asked him, work this situation out for me, Lord. You would have asked him to make a way where there seemed to be no way. Lord have mercy. She said unto him, Sir, you don't have nothing to draw with. Lord have mercy. And then the well is deep. My God, where is the end? Do you get the living water? You don't know the gift of God, honey. My God, it doesn't matter how deep or how hard the situation is, He can work it out. When you got the gift of God, you don't have to worry about how far He is away from you. When you have know the gift of God, you can declare that He is a miracle worker. You can stand and tell Him if you broke me thus far. Oh, hallelujah. I believe you can carry it thus far. I believe if you pick me up, you got the power. Y'all ain't never be here. You have the power to hold me up. You wouldn't bring me this far to leave me. Ain't nobody got to be that square. Happy with it, man. It's in my heart. He lift me up from the earth. He's in my will. Oh, 
still treated it that you don't have to go through those changes that you went through two years ago, three years ago, and some of them born right now. He can get you out of that situation with this way of water. Yeah. And it's coming up out of you. Sometimes you don't realize what's happening when you get in a situation that looks like that's the end of everything. You go to speak it in tongues. Look at the way I'm coming out of your mind. Echo me, say, come out of my mind. I don't know if I got a real saint to hear. You get your head out of your back up against the wall and you go to throw your hand up, praising it. Hallelujah. When you ought to be a surrendering it to the devil, you say, no, I ain't going to do that, devil. I'm throwing my hand up to give you praise. I'm not surrendering, but I'm giving God praise. I'm giving him one shot. Oh, I wish I might have prayed. I'm giving him one shot. So he said, the Lord said to him, Sir, give me this water so I will not be thirsty. Look at here. I don't want to be thirsty anymore. Not so I will come all the way to draw water. He said to her, Go call your son and come here. Do you have a concern? She had to have a concern that she was that one woman. And the husband was somewhere else. Like some of y'all listen to me. Amen. You stop leaning on the Lord and go leaning on people. A person will always show up. Amen. You can get up. God will always be there. Look what he tells. I'm going to give you a well of water that will be coming up out of you. So you won't have to look around for this. When that way off come up, you can go to preaching. Hallelujah. When that problem comes, you can go to blessing him. I ain't gonna lie to you. When that situation occurs, when sickness occurs, you go to say, you still my healer. Ah, 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 Oh, when that way off come up out of you, you go to tell him you've already made a way. And I praise you, but you've already opened the door. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You told the truth. You have correctly said, You have no husband. Y'all sit out the rest. I won't preach that one right now. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Say, Go home and bring her. She said, I have no husband. But well, you have had, watch this. Some of y'all trying to get one. The Bible says she has had five. <laughs> and a well was still dry. I'm only to prove this all around. I'm still in a dry situation. Yeah. People and stuff won't keep you refreshed. But there's a well of water that it put in you to call the Holy Ghost. Well, keep you fresh. Keep you praising God. Won't have the attitude that everybody you see. Come on, somebody help me preach this. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. And then the Bible said, now you have had this one, watch this. You have said truly, told the truth. You have. Sir, I perceive. That you are a prophet. He said, now that I got the well of water coming up like a shoe, got all those issues out of y'all. Let me tell you. Sometimes we get what God is saying, but we got too many issues in the way. We're leaning on too much stuff. As soon as he clears it up, she said, now I get it. Now I perceive that you're not claiming you are a prophet. All the Father worship in this mountain, and your, your people say that Jerusalem gets the place where men also worship. This woman realized that this was the time of being blessed like never before. You and I must get to the place that you want to say to him, Lord, I trust you. I give you the honor and I give you the praise. My God. Thank you, Lord. Listen, the Bible lets us know that this was a blessing for this woman to have come to the well. But I, my thought for you today is to remember, he will initiate the conversation. 
Yes, and it does not mean when he initiates a conversation that he don't know where you are and what the answer is. Jesus. Amen. Amen, somebody. Somebody Amen. raise your right hand and say, thank you for speaking to me, Lord. Amen. Right. Come on, here, say, thank you for speaking to me. Thank you for right. He knows the answer. He's not searching for the answer. He already knows what the answer is. So he's trying to get you and I on the same page. Get us where we can relax ourselves and enjoy the blessings of God to make us rich and add no sorrow. Somebody say, I'm going to bless him anyway. Oh, God. God, I said, I'm going to bless him anyway. Oh. I'm going to give him praise. I'm going to bless him anyway. Oh. Are y'all happy with all the blessings? Hallelujah. Come on. You all bless him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The blessings. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, my God. You are a blessing. You are a blessing. The Lord knows where you are. And Jesus has said it in her. If you had known the gifts of God. That's your message. If you had known the gifts of God. If you had the gifts of God. You would not be asking the question that you're asking. Who it is who saved you. You would already know when God is working in your faith. Come on, somebody. Any person that has the gift of God has the Holy Ghost, you know when God is working. Can I get money? Man? Yeah. Hallelujah. You know where it came from, my God. It did not happen, James. God sent it your way, my God. That telephone call didn't just come just because you were sitting where you are. It came because God moved in your behalf, my God. That door didn't just swing open just because you walked in. God allowed it to swing open because you know the gift of God. Hallelujah. Come on and give me praise. You know the gift of God. Hallelujah. And it's wonderful. It's a wonderful thing to know the gift of God. This is the day and time, brothers and sisters, that we want to make sure that we allow the Lord to work in our favor. Jesus said, verse 10, Jesus asked and said to her, if you knew the gift of God. That's what you want to get. He said in verse number 11, she said to him, sir, you have nothing to draw she was just like many of us have been or might be at the moment. Didn't think it could be done. Yes. She comes along and says, you don't have any, you put all kind of issues in the way when God is speaking, when you ought to get out of the way. Oh, suppose this don't work. Suppose they look at me and say, listen, you got to use trust God all the way or no way all the time. <laughs> hey, I was somebody, you got to trust him all the way or no way. Yeah. 